Listen, man. So YouTube took down my last video regarding to back to school. You feel me? I try to give y'all boys a good video because I know it's back to school season. I was trying to drop a video to help y'all out. But as usual, YouTube's riding the meat like a unicycle. And like low key, it was my best performing video. And this isn't the first time YouTube has took down this video. Um, they took down the video last year, so I waited a whole year just to be safe. I re-uploaded it yesterday, and then it got taken down again. And I don't know if y'all saw my Instagram story, man. I was pissed. Yo, Perpy, why don't you post on YouTube no more? Why why don't you upload back to school part two? Cause these videos are on my dick! Get off my dick! Yeah, bro! For the love of God, you get the fuck off my dick. I had this video unlisted for one year, bro. One whole year. And out of every fucking day of the year, they chose this fucking day to limit it, bro. The entire fucking year, it was green, bro. And now they fucking limit it. It's like these niggas do. Oh, God! So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna just scrap that and make an entirely new video. Look, these are the stages of going back to school. I feel like a lot of y'all are gonna relate to these, I'm not gonna lie. Because everyone has gone through these stages, a thousand percent. But yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. First up, we got the stage where you're like not even worried. You might be hanging out with your friends one day, just having fun, and then one day one of your friends might be like, yo, you know we have school in a month, right? And y'all just sit there laughing at him like, bro, why are you stressing about school? It's in one month, bro. We got a whole ass month. Do you know how long a month is? And then all y'all just laugh it off and then go back to doing your tomfoolery. Next up, we're moving on to stage two, and this is when the realization starts to hit. This one usually takes place about a week before school. Usually when you're hanging out with your friends just having fun, your friends will bring it up. They'll be like, yo, you know we got school in a week, right? Except this time, y'all do not laugh it off. Everybody is stressing, bro. Nobody wants to go back to school. You didn't even feel the month go by, bro. It was like yesterday y'all were talking about how y'all have school in a month. And now school starts in one week and your ass is not ready, so you immediately start stressing stressing out you can't even enjoy the rest of the hangout with your friends like that's how bad it is you're just sitting there paranoid because you know in a week you're gonna be back in school doing all the shit you don't fuck with stage three is called denial this usually takes place like one or two days before school starts you're just sitting there thinking how fast the summer went by and you're just like damn bro it's already back to school i ain't even have fun for real all the memories you made during summer they don't even matter anymore because it's back to school for yo ass you can't even have fun on the last two days of summer because you already know you're walking around and there's like a gray cloud on your head raining down on you like a cartoon character your friends are probably hitting you up to have one last hangout before school starts but you're not even having fun at the hangout for real the next stage is called acceptance you wake up and you just feel like shit you try to get out of bed but you just cannot get out of bed you just feel so tired this is the most tired you've ever felt during the summer waking up at seven in the morning was nothing you would just jump out of bed so energetic but all of a sudden when it's the first day of school you just feel the most tired you've ever been for some reason your eyes start hurting your stomach starts rumbling your room feels like extra cold for some reason the next phase is called the stare and i know all y'all have done this one you sit up on your bed and you just stare at the wall and you just reminisce about summer and how all that is gone and now you got to go back to school your parents are calling you to go eat breakfast but you don't even want to eat breakfast you're just sitting there wishing how you can get one more hour of sleep because you're just so tired and you feel like shit and you're just sitting there thinking damn i should have told my parents to sign me up for online school but regardless you realize you're going to be late so you get out of bed anyways okay this next phase depends on the type of person you are next up we've got the phase of choosing your outfit you're either going to pick like a super try hard outfit that looks looks nice as hell when you walk in you want everybody to think that you're in a fashion show you are dripped out from head to toe ready to go or you're probably just gonna put on a calm little fit you know nothing too crazy and just walk out you could really give a damn about what people think about you or not you're just trying to go to school be low-key you know just chill you know not do too much but in the back of your head you have that thought you're thinking damn i really hope i don't get flamed for my fit the next phase is getting to school now you finally get to school and when you get to school you're either going to do one of two things number one you probably already have been to the school before it's probably like your second or third year you feel me this is not a new school so you already have friends so you hit up your friends and you're like yo let's link up you feel me before class starts so you get the game together y'all meet up somewhere you feel me y'all just have a chill nice conversation before you got to get to class and when y'all get together you know you feel me y'all talk about a lot of things you know maybe like hopefully how the school year might go well better than last year you know maybe hopefully the teachers are chill you know maybe 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 there's some bad bitches in the class who knows or maybe for my for my woman you know maybe some cute boys in class you know who knows and now for the second type of people yo ass get to that school and you are brand new you don't know anybody bro this school is so big you know damn well you're gonna get lost you're sitting there just trying to find your classes you have no friends to link up with you you're just trying to get to your class first and while you're looking for your class you're just sitting there praying to yourself that hopefully these classes are gonna be easy and hopefully you make some friends in class who knows the next phase is the bell finally rings for everyone to go to class and 
again this depends on one of two things person one you probably already have friends in that class so you go and you try to sit down next to your friends so you sit down and you're like damn maybe this year won't be too bad after all i got some friends in this class the teachers chill you feel me it's the first day he's just explaining the rules you know nothing too crazy and you start to realize damn this might not actually be a bad year there's no geeks in my class no loud ass hot cheeto girls you feel me everyone's actually calm and normal now the second type of people man i just feel bad for y'all bro immediately as soon as you get into class yo ass heading straight for the back of the classroom immediately you take the farthest seat all the way in the corner like some fucking protagonist from a romance anime and you don't got no friends in that class and you're probably sleep deprived so you put your head down and the teacher up at the front yapping about the rules and how wonderful the school year is going to be isn't helping you in fact it's making you even more sleepy finally the teacher stops yapping and you're like damn i guess i'll just go to sleep as soon as the teacher goes and sits down in his seat the hood kids start acting up the class clowns start acting up the hot cheeto girl starts acting up everybody just starts acting up and they're being loud as hell and you're just sitting there trying to sleep you can't even join in on their fun because you don't even fit in with them you have no friends the only other person you notice that's not in any groups is this kid named trevor but he wears a mask in 2024 and a hoodie over his head and also his bag is a little bit bigger than everybody else's maybe you should be friends with him just in case something goes down but you're too sleepy to even get up oh yeah and i almost forgot there's a third outcome and this goes for both type of people if your teacher is one of those and what i mean by one of those it's one of those teachers that's like, okay, everybody stand up and say three interesting things about yourself. Um, yeah, I'd rather floss my teeth with barbed wire. No, thank you. You're just sitting there stressing about the oh, three no. interesting facts you're going to say about yourself. All of a sudden, your ass having an identity crisis. You don't even know who you are anymore. But thankfully, since you sat in the back, the teacher is still going through the kids in the front. So you're sitting there just trying to think. But it's all good because by the time the teacher gets to you, you already have your three facts. And just like that, you move on to the next phase, which is filler. This is basically just the rest of your classes where the same exact thing happens. Since it's the first day of school you have to do no work and you can just sit there and chill now the next phase is lunch now when you get to lunch again you are either one of two people if you have friends you're definitely gonna go chill with them during lunch i mean come on now y'all just chop it up while eating they tell you about their day and you tell them about your day you feel me and it's all chill unless you're person number two and you have no friends you just sit there and you eat lunch alone oh yeah and speaking of the lunch the lunch is gonna be either mid or terrible unless like you're in some high prestigious ass school yo ass gonna be eating raccoon ankle nuggets but to be honest, it don't even taste that bad. You just close your eyes and imagine that it's McDonald's. The next phase is returning back to class. And this is pretty much the same thing as the filler phase. You know, nothing much really happens. Teacher just yaps, introduces themselves, you know, talks about the rules, blah, blah, blah. We already know. When you get to your final class, you're sitting there itching for the bell to ring because you just want to go home and chill. And now for the next phase, going home. The bell finally rings. That sweet sound of the bell yes. rings and it's finally over. The first day is finally over. You are the first one out that bitch. You stand up so quick and you just start leaving. While everybody else was chatting to each other, distracted, you was on time and you were ready for that bell. The next phase, getting home. When you finally get home, you literally just throw your bag in the corner of your room and you just flop onto your bed. Before you even get onto your bed, you had a quick thought. You were like, damn, should I grab a snack real quick? Because low key, that school lunch was not hit. But nah, your ass was too tired. So you just flop onto the bed. And you're just sitting there in bed thinking, damn, this is going to be my life for the next 10 10 months and you just sit there in bed for a minute and then you just feel sleepy as hell and then before you know it you have moved on to the final phase the after school nap and you wake up at 3 a.m thirsty as hell and you realize damn I just fucked up my sleep schedule. You try to get back in bed and go to sleep, but you're just not tired anymore. So you just get on your phone and try scrolling on TikTok. And before you know it, rise and shine. Your alarm clock goes off and it is time for school. You try to get up, but then you realize something. Damn, why do I feel so sleepy all of a sudden? You just have the biggest urge to go back to sleep and school is about to start. But regardless, you get your sleep deprived ass up, put on your fit, go downstairs, and you get ready to run this shit back and that ladies and gentlemen are the stages of going back to school but yeah that's pretty much gonna do it for the video hey if y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all click the video on screen because i guarantee you y'all will fuck with it if y'all fuck with this video i guarantee y'all will fuck with the video on screen i promise and i'm gonna go ahead and catch y'all on the next one peace